So good welcome back to another pick a card reading so today's reading is who is your soulmate and uh what will your union be like what will your connection be like how will they make you feel you know whatever messages we can get okay so we have three groups for you to choose from we have group one the pink quartz crystal right <laughs> we have group two the clear quartz cluster and geode <laughs> And we have group three, the pink tourmaline crystal. Okay, so we've got three groups. Group one, two, and three. If you want to pause the video to choose your group, feel free. Uh, but I shall see you all in your readings. Hey, if you chose the first group, then this reading could be for you. So, your soulmate, what are they like? Okay, well, first we'll start off with what they're like. So the first card we have is outspoken. So your soulmate could be someone who's quite outspoken. They could be someone who is quite cheeky as well. So we have here decisive. So this person is quite a decisive person too. It's like this person likes to make decisions. They're very action um, oriented, you know, very action focused. It's like if, you know, it's say, for example, um, you know, you wanted to go somewhere or you wanted to make plans for somewhere like this person wouldn't wait on you to make those plans. This person will just get it done, you know. So, yeah, this person could definitely be very um, decisive and action oriented. We also have fearless, though. So. Uh, your soulmate is also someone who could be considered quite fearless. Let me see. So I'm hearing like this is someone who could like to take risks. But it <laughs> only take this if it resonates. But for some of you, this feels like in regards to water um i don't know like maybe they do like risky stuff with water or you know things that people will consider risk risky like you know deep water diving or you know maybe they have an interest and stuff like that i don't know but uh yeah they could be very fearless it could be in an, an adventurous way but it could also be in a way where it's maybe you know sticking up for themselves sticking up for other people i wouldn't be surprised if it is sticking up for other people with that outspoken being there and with the cheeky as well it may not even come across like they're being defensive it could just come across as you know them being playful but at the same time outspoken and yes i mean exactly what i say you know so we also have here attentive nice so your soulmate is also someone who is very attentive yeah like this feels like someone who pays attention to the details like say for example you're just talking you know, and you could say something very, like, flippant, like, when I say flippant, I don't mean it in, like, a rude way, I just mean it in, like, an off-the-cuff kind of way, I don't know how else to describe that word, but anyways, so you could say something that is just, you know, very whatever, and, um, you know, they pick up on it, and, uh, like, say, for example, you're someone who says, um, I don't know, just something really weird and, like, one-off, and, they turn around and they do it for you or you know they buy it for you or they take you to somewhere um that kind of gives off a similar vibe do you know what i mean so uh yeah this person is very attentive for sure oh so <laughs> this all makes sense so yeah they're outspoken they're chatty they're cheeky oh <laughs> so we have here frugal okay okay so this person could so this could be frugal in a sense where they're like good with money for others of you this could be fr like frugal as in i feel like maybe not this is not going to be for everyone but it could be you know childhood reasons as to why they're frugal um so it may not be actually being frugal it could just be you know being cautious uh with money but maybe this it, maybe this extends past money um it could be let me see actually <laughs> it 
so it was clarified by the page of pentacles so it could definitely be money i feel like it could definitely extend to outside of money as well um it i'm hearing like it, it could extend to their passion wait hold on so i feel like this could actually be directed toward them towards themselves actually they could be quite frugal when it comes to themselves like maybe someone who's not really you know interested in like i don't know like name brands or stuff like i this feels like someone who lives for experiences more so than appearances if that makes sense not saying one is bad and one is not you know i'm just saying <laughs> so we have here casual So I'm hearing for some of you, your soulmate is someone who likes to keep things casual. They could be someone who likes to keep things simple. Hmm. Okay, for some of you, it's coming across as this person has a, a... I don't even know how to explain this, but like a casual career. Like, I don't even know what that would mean. Uh, maybe that means like, like a simple job. I, I don't know. Um, or just like a uh, a casual a casual job. But I don't feel I don't know I I don't really get the sense that this is a casual person. I and I don't even get the sense that this is in regards to how they dress evil Eva. For some of you, it could just be that they have like a low-key job, you know, like nothing exciting, if that makes sense. <laughs> so we also have here perfectionist. So yeah, your soulmate could be someone who is a bit of a perfectionist. And we have political. So yeah, they could also be political, maybe into politics. yeah um but okay let's see what else we have so who is your soulmate so we have here falling drop into the deep end of your soul so yeah for some of you your soulmate could be someone who's quite emotionally deep like this is someone who maybe you could have deep uh conversations with uh, you know, they could be emotional conversations or just conversations you just wouldn't have with anyone. But yeah, this is definitely someone you could have deep conversations with. So we also have here flower, pluck the weeds and plant the seeds of your most magnificent expression. So I'm actually hearing they had to um, kind of go through situations like this where they kind of had to pluck the weeds from their life you know whether that be people whether that be you know uh addictions whether that be certain environments like this person you know whether this be you know unhealthy habits you know food whatever but this person has done a lot of work in regards to kind of clearing out the things that could be uh you know a bit toxic to them and i feel like this definitely helped them express themselves more or kind of just see the beauty in themselves and uh you know the life that they're creating for themselves <laughs> i'm actually hearing for some of you that this person could be quite delicate like a flower i don't know if it, like whether they bruise like a peach or maybe they could be delicate in other ways maybe they ha kind of handle you delicately or you know stuff like that but your your soulmate could definitely be delicate in some kind of way but this doesn't feel like in a way where it's like weakness you know whether that be physical or emotional mental um but yeah so you have here alien nice nice we love to see it <laughs> 
So your soulmate could definitely be a very unique, stand out from the crowd type of person. Um, let me see something actually. Yeah, so your soulmate could definitely be on the quirky side for sure. And we also have aeroplanes, spread your wings and fly. So yeah, your soulmate is going to be someone who likes to travel. I'm clarified by the world card up right at the bottom. That's nice. Um, yeah. They enjoy freedom. But they enjoy freedom, but I'm not hearing that they prefer freedom. If that makes any you know difference for anyone but yeah but i feel like they're just like a, a bit of a free spirit in some way actually hmm i don't know about free spirit actually but they could just be someone who prefers to live without restrictions you know Let me put this here. Because, okay, so now let's see. So what will your connection be like, okay? So we have the Two of Pentacles reversed. We have the Ten of Cups upright. Nice! <laughs> and we have the Six of Cups upright as well. So nice. I love it, guys. Anyways, okay. Let me put it here so like you can almost kind of see it still. Let me see. Yeah, that's all right. All right, first of all, I have to say that you will have the most beautiful family and home life with this person. You know, whether that be blending families, whether that be you joining their family or them joining your family or, you know, your family's joining together and it's just so freaking beautiful. Or whether that be creating a family of your own, you know. But I feel like regardless of the setup, in, in terms of family, it's going to be so, 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 so beautiful, honestly. Um, so the signs that are coming through are like Aries, Gemini, Leo, Cancer, Libra, Sagittarius and Aquarius. So I feel like initially you may feel confused, maybe even indecisive about your person, about the connection you have with them. Um, but I feel like this is someone who will help simplify your life um like say for example you're really busy you have a lot of demands responsibilities like this person will just help you um i don't know maybe manage certain things or you know just help you better manage what you already have going on uh, initially you may even feel like you and them are wanting different things or you know maybe you're too different um, you know, to form a, a loving <laughs> and a lasting connection. For some of you, you may even feel like you're polar opposites to this person initially. So you may even feel um, overwhelmed in the beginning. Uh, this could be due to this person being stuck in the past. Uh, maybe you. Um, or this could be in regards to finances as well. So I feel for some of you, like, during your connection with this person, I don't feel like this is at the beginning. Hmm, let me double check, actually. All right, I'm just getting the message that it may feel like this is my last chance, you know? Uh, this could be in regards to something specific, but for others of you, I'm getting that this is in regards to marriage or, you know, having a serious connection. Like, you may feel like this is my last chance. And I don't know if you're maybe not in the right place or maybe when you meet them, you won't be in the right place or you just have a lot going on. Um, maybe you feel like you need to focus on other things um, aside from focusing on a relationship. But I feel like this person will come in and make you feel 
like you don't have to drop the ball in other areas of your life to accommodate me if that makes sense it's like this person uh could be someone that would want to accommodate you like this is someone who is very decisive and they are very attentive so it's like if i see you struggling i'm not just gonna i'm not gonna even ask you if you need help you know i'm gonna be of assistance to you you know so i do feel like this is someone who will help simplify your life but it made us take a minute for you both to kind of get on the same page so yeah your connection will have its ups and downs at the beginning this person will be very caring of you and towards you as well I feel like there could be the energy of not wanting to discuss money. This could be a bit of a learning curve for the both of you. But this person will be the biggest supporter of your well-being, you know. So, like, say, for example, this person sees you overworking, you're not eating properly or, you know, something like that. This person will be like, no, no, like, hold on. <laughs> like, we need to take care of you, you know. This person will very much care and worry um, and be attentive towards your well-being <laughs> so you may have children with this person or pets together maybe currently um, or you know when you meet them you guys will have this beautiful family together but anyways I feel like there would be like a lot of uh, like family gatherings a lot of cookouts or barbecues it just feels like family uh, you know would be important or you're just going to have maybe a close connection to their family or they will have a close connection to your family but I feel like you could go on a lot of holidays with this person you could travel with this person a lot this person will treat you like you're a blessing to them you know they will treat you um, as if you know literally the universe formed you out of clay and made them perfect for, you, for them you know but this person will definitely treat you like a blessing i feel like your union with them will make you feel blessed it will make them feel blessed or make you both feel blessed that you guys found each other i feel like you could end up marrying this person if i haven't said that already um i feel like your connection with them will be very innocent and they will kind of treat you gently as well this person will be supportive and i'm hearing like maybe their family would take you in if that resonates for you or like their family would just make you feel very welcomed I feel like this is the kind of connection that will make you feel nostalgic or you'd kind of end up doing a lot of nostalgic stuff together, you know? Um, like I'm hearing like this could be the kind of connection, relationship where this person kind of makes you feel like a kid again, you know? Maybe you both feel like a kid again in each other's, um, what's that word? In each other's company. I definitely feel like this would be a serious connection even though we have you know such innocent and beautiful cards i do feel like this is a serious person and they definitely are looking for something serious um i feel like this person will make you more so feel like a kid again maybe not the other way around But you guys, this person will be very protective of you. Um, you may feel protective towards them as well. I feel like family is very important to them or will be very important to the both of you. <laughs> I feel like, you know, you guys could have the kind of relationship where you share everything, you know, thoughts, food, drinks, clothes, toothbrush, not joking, I don't know, but like this could be the kind of connection where you definitely are big on sharing, you know, uh, maybe there's no secrets, maybe, you know, I know your password to your phone, I, I, you know, you know mine, you know, pins, everything shared, maybe shared bank account, you know, stuff like that. Um, and I'm also getting for some of you like 
this person could help you heal uh, childhood stuff and let's see so how would this person make you feel how would they treat you so we have here willpower improve your willpower to reduce your stress level and we have the two of pentacles so <laughs> clarified by the two of cups at the bottom so yeah for some of you like this could be the kind of connection where they help you reduce your stress level like this is someone who does not want to see you overworked they're not someone that wants to see you overwhelmed you know and um yeah for some of you this person seven of wands they could make you feel protected they could make you feel um it, it could just i don't know how to how to word this like it could just give you that extra oomph to be you know extra confident or you know to have you know willpower in regard in regards to certain things or you know say for example you know you want to eat better like this is someone who will encourage you and you know i don't know it's just they will kind of make you feel like you have that inner strength to overcome stuff you know whether that be past stuff whether that be you know addictions or you know eating or exercising i don't know but this person will definitely kind of give you that it, it just feels like imagine a curved spine and then this person just kind of makes you sit up a bit straighter if that makes sense you know they make you have that energy i don't know i don't know how to explain it but i hope i'm i'm, I'm doing okay <laughs> so we also have here free will get out of your cocoon So I'm hearing that this person will, it was clarified by the judgment at the bottom. So they could help in regards to your discernment. Maybe I'm not saying this person directly or maybe you know, your connection with this person, um, or maybe they will help you be more discerning of certain things. Uh, but this person will definitely, uh, <laughs> for some of you I'm hearing like they would it's either they would be outspoken on your behalf or they would definitely encourage you to be more outspoken and it doesn't this doesn't have to be in an aggressive way you know um uh but yeah for some of you it could almost feel like you have a lot of freedom with this person or your life is more freeing in some way with this person and finally, we have Celebrate Life. That's so nice. And we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, so I feel like for you to maybe you guys will celebrate a lot. You know, maybe this person will celebrate, you know, your small wins, your big wins. Maybe you guys will end up celebrating together or you guys will just be very, you know, celebratory and supportive of one another. Um, so it says below, make your life a celebration. And maybe that's what it will kind of feel like with... Um, I was going to say future spouse <laughs> but yeah future spouse your soulmate whatever you want to call it um yeah this person will definitely make you feel happy like it feels like an abundance of happiness will be there between the both of you commitment happiness celebration traveling it just feels like good vibes honestly obviously you know roller coasters there's still learning curves uh, this could be mainly in regards to money for some of you guys maybe balancing out different areas of your life responsibilities stuff like that um but yeah your connection with this person will be very happy very celebratory joyful abundant um there could be kids involved for sure whether that be having children but yeah that is all i have for you for those of you who chose this group i hope it could resonate i hope it could be nice <laughs> um but yeah i'm wishing you all the best for your journeys moving forward okay please take care of yourselves bye hey there beautiful people i hope you are doing so good if you chose this clear quartz cluster crystal then this reading could be for you so let's first start off with who is your soulmate, okay? So we have here reserved. So your soulmate could be someone who is reserved. They could be this way in a general sense, or they could be this way when you first meet them, or they kind of just are someone who appears to be reserved. Uh, maybe they're selective even for some of you guys. <laughs> so we have here unpleasant. I feel like, let me see. 
Yeah, so this person, we have, this was clarified by the Five of Swords. So this person definitely gives off the impression that they are maybe unpleasant, that they they could give off the impression that they, what's, what's that word? They're, they're not conflict adverse, basically, you know. Um, Like, I'm, I'm hearing they could look quite serious, you know? And it's like... It's like, you see... You see... <laughs> imagine seeing someone... Not saying this person looks scary, but imagine someone who appears intimidating, right? Like, really, really intimidating, and you step on their toes or something, and you kind of just imagine that this person would just be totally conflict, you know? Uh, maybe even unpleasant but I don't feel like they're like that at all I feel like this is just how they're perceived you know so yeah for some of you they just could be perceived as reserved maybe uh, maybe even like controlling a little bit aggressive maybe with that um, with the what card is this knight of swords at the bottom but yeah so we also have mischievous nice so i feel like already like this person could be someone who is quite complex so i feel like on the surface they definitely come across as reserved but below that i feel like they're quite i don't know if funny is the right word but definitely mischievous they could have a bit of a rebellious side to them as well For some of you I'm hearing like they may not even be mischievous, they could just come across as mischievous. Like I'm hearing like their grin or the way they talk. I'm hearing like they could even come across as like a bit of a I don't want to I hate the I hate saying the word tease, but if you have a better word for tease, then please let me know, you know. But yeah, this person could come across as a bit of a tease, really flirty. Like maybe the way they talk comes across you know flirty or they come across mischievous but i don't feel like they're like that on, um you know below the surface but for some of you they could be for sure so we have here reliable i mean what is wrong with me let me see if the next card says reliable it doesn't even say reliable guys so <laughs> so so we have here emotional so your few your soulmate what are they like So I'm hearing like they're actually emotional, but they could hide it or they have a very good grasp on their emotions, but they could feel things very heavily, you know, and uh, they could yeah be an emotional person, very in tune with their emotions. Um, but I feel like they definitely do not wear this on the surface, for sure. And um, it may even seem like they're unemotional for some of you guys, but it's only because um, either A, they are reserved and they don't really like showing it all that much straight away um but for others of you it's just because they have a very good grasp on their emotions you know uh, so we have here predictable So yeah, for some of you, this person could be predictable in a certain sense. Like, what's coming to my head, like, for example, you guys are about to sit down, watch a movie, this person gets up, yeah? You know in your head, like, I know this person's going to get up to go get some ice cream or something, you know, something along those lines, right? And, and it's like, when they come back, they come up with the ice cream and you're just like, this, this, this dude is predictable AF, you know? <laughs> um or they kind of wake up same time every morning you know go to bed same time every night like this person could just be predictable in some way uh it doesn't have to be in the ways that i just said but yeah so we also have non-competitive okay nice So it's not that your person is non-competitive, it's just the fact that they do not feel the need to compete. But don't get me wrong, if they were in a competitive situation and, you know, it's just like 
most of the time they could be like meh about you know certain things that involves competition but there's other times where it's just like okay let's go you know so for some of you it's not that they're non-competitive in general it's just that most of the time it's just not something that i personally feel like competing for you know um but i feel like they can definitely be competitive when it's something that interests them for sure but this could be not feeling the need to compete for people's attention you know not feeling the need to compete you know for other things it could be something more specific but yeah this is definitely someone who doesn't feel the need to compete this is someone who is very thoughtful oh my god not joking <laughs> uh so yeah your soulmate could be someone who's incredibly thoughtful So for some of you, like, I'm picking up this thoughtful as in, like, I remember uh, things that you say, you know, like, this person, you know, just remembers stuff, like, they, yeah. <laughs> so we also have here individualistic, nice, nice. Yeah, so this person is very much um, an individual. yeah and this person doesn't even try to be an individual this person doesn't try to stand out this person doesn't try to you know kind of be um you know aside from the crowd you know like everyone's wearing white but this person's wearing black like this person does not mean to <laughs> this person doesn't mean to be um individualistic but that's just who they are you know that's just their nature so we also have here independent, nice, nice. So they could be someone who's quite independent as well. Independent, individualistic. Uh, so we also have extravagant, nice, nice. <laughs> extravagant in regards to what? All right, I don't feel like this is someone who sees themselves as extravagant, but I feel like this is someone who can definitely be perceived as extravagant. Like people could perceive them as like the nine of pentacles, someone who has it got, like someone who's got it, you know, going on, if that makes sense. Like someone who's very stylish, someone who's very beautifully put together. Um, yeah. Ooh, nine of pentacles energy, nice. And we also have opportunistic. So yeah, your your soulmate could be someone who is an opportunist. Like this is not someone who is just an opportunist. Like I see something I can take or I see someone I can manipulate. So I'm going to go ahead and do it because I want what they have. Like it doesn't feel like an opportunist in that way. But it just feels like I'm getting action you know if they want something then they kind of go for it and they're opportunistic that way like they're opportunistic in a smart way like in uh investment kind of way like oh that would be a good business idea or ooh, that would be you know what i mean like they're just very oh it's like for some of you this could even be um in regards to like money like making good money moves it's like for example um it's like normally I see this thing and it's priced for 500 normally but I see it on an off chance and it's like 250 like this person is opportunistic in that way where they won't wait they won't even you know they won't wait they will kind of just get it you know because it, a perfect opportunity presented itself so I'm going to take it like that's who this person is sheesh okay <laughs> so we have here family explore your sacred root system so for some of you I'm hearing like they may not have the closest relationship with their current family so this could be someone who definitely is a family person but they could be someone who's more so looking for their family if that makes sense. We also have celebrity. <laughs> See I told you this person is popping that they, 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 they come across very extravagant 
they for some of you this person could be famous they could be very much desired by a lot of people okay maybe they're hood famous you know maybe they're famous in your community um maybe they're like social media famous you know um or they could just be really popular you know it doesn't have to be famous but yeah but this person comes across as the nine of pentacles someone who is very just beautiful well put together or composed um it looks expensive you know what i'm saying so yeah for some of you this person definitely shines in some way but i feel like having said that i want to say that uh this person is either humble about it <laughs> they may not even be humble about it um but they're definitely low-key about it if that makes sense it's like i don't feel the need to rub that in people's faces or for some of you they may not even see themselves that way like people like someone would say like oh my gosh you look expensive and they'll look at their clothes and they'll be like really you know <laughs> like this <laughs> this whole thing <laughs> um but yeah so we also have here animal embrace your wild side nice nice So this person will definitely have a wild side to them yeah i could be predictable but i have a wild side to me as well and finally no not finally but we have his school and we have examine your beliefs about being tested for some of you your soulmate could be someone who's still i don't want to say school but in some form of education um, some form of education that um, takes on people above 18 years old, I guess. <laughs> so like colleges, university, maybe this person still participates or maybe, you know, they're an adult who's gone back to education. But this person is an, in a, like a learning process. Maybe when you meet them or at this moment, they could be smart AF as well. They could be someone who's very intelligent. They could be someone who likes to who enjoys intellectual conversations as well so what would your um relationship connection be like with this person Ooh, okay so we have the ten of pentacles freaking beautiful card to come out to be honest uh we have the four of cups upright and we have the three of wands upright interesting energy so what will your connection be like what will your union love feelings we'll see <laughs> okay so what will your connection be like with this person okay for for some of you this person can be a taurus a gemini a leo or a pisces uh, for some of you i'm hearing cancer but maybe not in their sun maybe some other predominant part of their chart but anyway so this could be someone who is very financially abundant um, they could be quite traditional as well. I feel like you both would have a very solid partnership. Um, I feel like you could want a family together as well. But this may not happen straight away. Or maybe it's like a ready-made family, if you know what I'm saying. For some of you, it could feel like, um, you know, getting married to this person straight away. Maybe not kids and stuff straight away, or maybe even for some of you anymore or at all. But I definitely feel like you want to seal the deal pretty early on in your relationship. So yeah, this could be someone who's self-employed or an entrepreneur. Yeah, so this person could be an entrepreneur. Marriage is definitely important to this person or be important for the both of you. As I said before, some of you could, you know, seal your commitment quite early on. I feel like this is definitely something with long term potential as well in, with your soulmate. Maybe they will see it from the beginning. Maybe you will. This is definitely someone you'll feel secure with as um, and stable with. Okay, I have to say this, but, you know, kind of sorry to put like a downer, but feel free to reject this message, you know. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing like they could be someone that 
you know could possibly hold stuff over your head like say for example you know money i'm not saying it is money it could be something small you know um it's like this this is someone who's controlling you know um but i'm hearing like nip that shit in the bud like as soon as it shows up you know or you know make it clear early on if you do or if you even want to meet this person or if you've already met this person i don't know um but yeah you're definitely being advised to nip that in the bud um asap and kind of just make it known to them um that a controlling situation is you know not for you <laughs> it's not something you enjoy you know if you don't enjoy it but if you don't mind then you know um I know I'm, I'm I'm not even seeing that they're controlling or they hold stuff over people's heads in a malicious way it may not even be in a malicious way um but it's sometimes it's like if people don't know how to treat you they're just going to treat you how they assume you want to be treated you know so um yeah it could be as simple as like maybe they just don't know any better or maybe they're used to it um in their other relationships so you guys just i don't know just be vocal um explain what it is you want from a partner what you expect and i feel like it will be definitely built feel all good but i feel like you know it, there's there's an energy of this person where they kind of think it's okay like say for example right this is someone who's used to being the breadwinner in um in a relationship and they're kind of acting from that perspective from those experiences but you know when they come into a relationship with you they feel like they can act on those experiences um but i feel like if you let this person know yeah it could be a bit of a learning curve but i feel like if you don't let them know straight away they'll think it's okay and you could end up feeling regretful that you weren't dominant or that you didn't stand up for yourself earlier you know It's just like if someone was to make you coffee every morning and then one morning like there's no coffee you know but it's like i don't know it just feels like if you make it go on long enough then it will become a theme unfortunately so there may be or you may have like or even prefer space between you this could be work demands but for some of you this is like just something that just has to happen in your connection um where there is a space between you both you know whether this be traveling for work whether one person you know for some of you uh, this could even be referring to long distance you know the space between you both but for others of you it could definitely be work demands like long hours stuff like that you know so yeah, this could be someone who, who may, this could be someone who you may feel emotionally withdrawn or detached from them. Even though this is someone that feels things very deeply, they don't let themselves go, you know, so it could be a bit of a learning curve for both of you in terms of emotional openness um feeling safe with each other emotionally it could take a, a minute to develop that bond with one another or you know maybe they prefer to move slowly when it comes to building an emotional bond um or you know you may prefer to move slowly but you know that could definitely be of a bit of a curve and again if there is distance involved if um you know work demands long hours responsibilities are involved um then that could um you know impact the emotional connection that you both have with one another this could be someone who's maybe not so affectionate as well um at the beginning for some it's just that the distance you know whatever it may be could make in this intimacy difficult at the beginning but a, you know learning curve you guys will get over it or you know i don't know maybe you even prefer it that way maybe they prefer it that way i don't know but um yeah but this is someone who make who'll make you feel confident uh they'll make you feel free like th this this is someone hmm yeah i feel like this is someone who will make you feel free 
like you can achieve anything but i do feel like you'll feel very 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 happy with one another i feel like you guys will have a lot of adventure to, um, with each other i'm hearing like you will have a lot of new experiences with this person it's like you will have a lot of first with this person for some of you this person is older right so they could be more experienced than you and maybe they kind of put you on to a lot of new experiences and a lot of new things but i feel like for a lot of you you guys will just be down to try a lot of uh new things together maybe you guys will be very exp um what was i gonna say <laughs> spontaneous it doesn't even feel like spontaneous it just feels like making the most out of life and the little things that life has to offer you know um and for some of you you could travel with this person or there'll be a lot of traveling involved in terms of your connection for some of you i'm even hearing like by coastal you know so what will your connection Ooh. what will your connection be like with this person so we have here live in the moment nice So yeah, for some of you, maybe this is, I feel like when you are together or when you both do have the opportunity to be with one another, um, you know, if that resonates for you or if that's even a thing for you guys, but, you know, regardless of whether there's distance between you both or not, I feel like when you are with each other, it'll be very easy for you both to live in the, live in the moment with one another and kind of just enjoy life. I feel like it will flow quite naturally with this person you know so we have here happy life and we have the ten of pentacles as well so i do feel like you'll have a very happy life with this person maybe you know you help this person to feel less guarded or you kind of you know this is a kind of connection where you guys don't feel guarded towards one another and finally we have dawn of love love is rising on the horizon of your love life so your 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 connection may not your connection definitely won't lack love what dawn of love it, it's like it feels like a slow burn you know clarified by the lovers at the bottom i like i like that so for some of you your connection could be a bit of a slow burn or just, it just takes a minute to develop but i feel very early on you will know that this is your person or they will know you are their person um but it may not it just may take a while to develop it may take a while to you know solidify but i feel like this is definitely someone you have a very strong foundation with uh and yeah very secure and stable foundation and there will never there will be there will be no lack of love okay just put it that way for some of you i'm actually hearing that this could be someone who is you know coming into your life quite soon I, I i do have to say especially if you have maybe recently gone through a heartbreak or maybe you kind of got caught up in a third party situation if any of you resonate with those um with those scenarios then this person could definitely be coming towards you uh, very soon clarified by the three of swords and the ace of wands uh, at the bottom so you could initially just feel very attracted um to this person and them to you um but it just may take a minute to develop for sure but that is all i have for you though for those of you who chose this group i hope it could be helpful i hope it could be a nice reading for you um but yeah this is all i have for you guys i hope uh you enjoyed it i don't know you know um but i'm wishing you all the absolute best moving forward all right please take care of yourselves bye hey there gorgeous people if you chose the third group then this reading could be for you so who is your soulmate okay let's see so we have here formal so your so your soul your soulmate could be someone who is quite formal maybe they approach people in quite a formal way maybe when you first meet them or when you first met them they came across quite formal maybe they like to dress quite formal as well so we also have self-confident nice so this could be someone with a lot of self-confidence as well So we have here unfriendly. Let me see something. 
yeah so for some of you like this is definitely someone who could be perceived as unfriendly they're probably not unfriendly for the majority obviously um but this is someone who could definitely be perceived as unfriendly they could be actually perceived as um yeah maybe quite serious you know maybe takes themselves seriously so we also have proud nice sorry give me one second okay so proud So yeah, this could be someone who's quite proud, and this is coming across in like a um, uh, like a prideful kind of way, you know, clarified by this King of Wands at the bottom. So yeah, they could feel proud of themselves uh, in like a proudful kind of way. So we also have here crazy. That's funny. So this could be someone who's quite crazy, like this could be crazy in terms of, you know, taking risks. But <laughs> for others of you, I'm hearing like this could be someone who like talks crazy sometimes. Um, it's like I'm hearing that song that like, I gets crazy, I gets crazy, you know, I'm, I'm hearing that for some of you, they could have that kind of energy um, from time to time. But this person, I don't know. It, they seem like someone who you know kind of keeps their chill for the most part but they could definitely have a crazy um side to them for sure for some of you i'm hearing like when they're hyper they could get a bit crazy if you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah so we have here neat so this could be someone who either you know just presents themselves i'm gonna put this on top of formal actually so this could be someone who's just quite neat and put together um in terms of in terms of their appearance but for others of you it could be neat as in like cleanliness um you know maybe their home their environment their car even uh, could be quite neat maybe they prefer things to be neat and put together <laughs> so yeah this could be someone who's quite intelligent as well Do you know that's crazy because when i saw these four cards i swear to you i was going to say this person could come across a little bit pretentious but i didn't say it because i don't know but yeah we have here pretentious so for some of you it's even <laughs> okay maybe because it's not that it's not because let me see something real quick <laughs> okay so earlier i got a no for um are they perceived as pretentious and i um so now i'm hearing like i got a no because it's not that they're perceived as pretentious it's because they you know could be you know genuinely pretentious in some way that is so funny because i was going to say like it may not even they may not even compute it as them being pretentious it could just be that they like what they like uh, and they could be a bit stubborn and that's funny because stubborn is like the next card that comes out so yeah this person could have a bit of a pretentious side or they're pretentious in regards to certain things they could be a wee bit stubborn at times as well and finally we have anxious so they could be someone who gets anxious from time to time maybe in certain situations You know, I feel like there's another message with this anxious card. Give me one second. All right. So for some of you, this person could be anxious in terms of love. It could be more so in terms of their feelings, maybe connecting with new people, uh, with that Ace of Cups being at the bottom. Hmm. What else? But yeah, they could be anxious when it comes to new connections. For some of you, I'm hearing like they could be anxious around the opposite sex. All right, so what do we have here? So we have here cell phone, polish your communication skills. So who is this person? Your soulmate. <laughs>
So I'm hearing like this is someone who's in the process of working on their communication skills. Like this is someone who maybe recognizes that they don't communicate the most effectively and they're maybe in the process at this moment of, you know, kind of changing those things about themselves. So we have here email. So we have two forms of communication here. Let me see something. Do you know what? Having said that, this is someone who is big on communication. They could value communication and, you know, intelligent, intellectual, calm, you know, conversations. I do feel like there is a part of them where, you know, they do maybe get a bit crazy in terms of communication, but I feel like that is maybe something that's a part of their past or something that rarely ever happens. Um, but yeah, communication is definitely very important to this person. It's something that they can work on. So when they do meet their soulmate or when they do meet, you know, their life partner, uh, future spouse, whatever it may be, uh, that they're able to commit kind of communicate effectively with you when that time comes I'm hearing for some of you you could email this person a lot but at the beginning it will be mostly emails For some of you, this could be someone you currently communicate with through email or mainly through the internet or, you know, what have you. So we also have here box, reveal your secret power. Okay. So for some of you, this person could be someone who is uh, secretive. Um, I don't know if that would be towards you or, you know, whether they're just kind of low-key about certain things in their life. For others of you, this could be someone who, I don't feel, let me see. So this person either keeps secrets, like they're a good secret keeper, um, or um, they're very reluctant to share their own secrets. And we also have here flying, arise and see a higher point of view. Do you know what? I feel for some of you, even though this person could come across a bit stubborn, I feel like they are very much open to other people opening their mind. You know, if that makes sense. It's like this person... It may not be easy for them to take on someone else's perspective, of course, but they will be very open to being convinced otherwise, should I say, you know? Like, so this person is stubborn, they know what they want, um, you know, stuff like that. But at the same time, it's like they're maybe not so easily, but they are willing to open up their perspective. They're willing to let someone open their mind. They wouldn't completely, you know, shut something down. So, what would your connection with this person be like? Nice energy, guys. So, we have here the Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, upright, sorry. <laughs> we have the Sun card, upright, nice, nice. And we have um, the Three of Cups, even nicer. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Should I put this somewhere else? Oh, you guys don't want it covering the cards, I don't know. Let me see, put it up here. Let's just leave it like this. Alright, so the signs that are coming through are Gemini, Aries, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Libra, and Pisces. But, you know, whoever this person is, your soulmate, they will feel dedicated to you. Um, this person will be ambitious in regards to communication. Uh, maybe kind of getting through to you, maybe even, you know, uh, building communication with you, maybe throughout, you know, maybe when you first meet, like they'll be quite ambitious in regards to talking to you or making sure that you guys kind of have, um, you know, prolonged conversations, stuff like that. Like this person would be very ambitious in regards to communication. So maybe kind of hearing what's on your mind, tell me what you're thinking, 
um, you know, this person will just encourage you or they would love for you to be extremely vocal um, and they would be, you know, happy to listen. Like, this is what I want, you know, don't feel like you're being annoying because I want to hear this, you know. Um, for some of you, this is in like a let's talk and work this out. Like, we're not going to go to sleep angry angry with each other we're not gonna give each other the silent treatment no we're gonna talk and we're gonna hash it out you know um so for some of you this could be someone who cares about image and how you both will be how you both will be seen so maybe this is someone who would you know like or appreciate you both having like a good you know reputation or a public image in some way or maybe they kind of just want people to see you both in the best light or they want people to see you in the best light but i do get the sense that this would be a very supportive connection you both will be very supportive of one another it's like you both are going to want to see each other win you know they could be a bit of a perfectionist and this could seep into your relationship connection, how they, you know, interact with you or, you know, stuff like that. So this person is going to be very open in regards to their emotion for the most part. <laughs> um, I feel like you both will have like regular things that you do to do with one another, whether that be, you know, dates, events, you know, meetups you know stuff like that i definitely feel like you guys will be quite regular this person will want to keep things consistent whenever they can you know um like this is someone who will pay attention to the small details and they will make you feel special by doing that like this person will pick up on little things and you'll be like holy shit i don't even remember telling you that and they'll be like um yeah I, I think you just said it quickly you know so um yeah this is definitely someone who is attentive and will make you feel special because of the attention that they pay to you especially in regards to the small details and the finer things you know like for some of you this could be something as simple as the way you like to make your bed you know and you may not think you may not make a big deal out of it but this person maybe will pick up on the way that you do certain things and you know they will just try to they will try to do it to the best of their ability you know especially if they see that it is something that is important to you you know But yeah, I definitely feel like this is someone you will have a thing with. Like you play basketball together, maybe you shop together, maybe you cook together, maybe there's a series you guys will watch together. But I <laughs> okay, so I feel like the way to put this is actually actually is that you guys will have a lot of couple activities and things that you guys do with one another for sure. Like I feel like you guys will be really good friends. Um I feel like you both will be best friends. I feel like your connection will actually be, will actually be built on friendship, a solid friendship, a real friendship. Yeah. So it's either you guys will have mutual friends or their friends will be very accepting of you or vice versa, or you guys will end up building, you know, genuine bonds with their friends it's like this person you know when you meet them or you know as your connection grows this person can make you feel a part of something you know they can make you feel a part of a community a part of their family a part of their circle or um or they will just kind of make you feel like you belong like you found your place some somehow you know but only take that if it resonates for you personally um but yes But yeah, I definitely see this being someone who will treat you really nice um, and be so kind and loving and supportive of you. I feel like there's going to be so much laughter here between the both of you as well. So much fun and adventure. I feel for some of you, there may be a need to relocate at some point in your connection or maybe to be with this person. I feel like you guys could even get engaged quite early on. 
I feel like you guys are going to be very celebratory of each other as well small wins big wins you guys are just going to be you know gassing each other up for anything like you were constipated and you finally went woo, you know like throw a party like this <laughs> you guys are just gonna be <laughs> i'm sorry if that um yeah but yeah uh you guys are definitely going to be very celebratory of one another i feel like they're going to be so positive about you they're going to be so positive in front of you but also behind your back yeah i'm talking positive things about you you know <laughs> like this person i would say almost though they may even put you on a pedestal or they'll kind of just treat you that way you know because they they see you as special so why wouldn't i treat my special person that way you know um like this person won't want you to feel stifled at all that this person is very accepting and open towards you as well this person i'm hearing they will work for your trust so if any of you have like you know things surrounding trust like this person would be patient or you know they kind of won't push it you know um and they will definitely work for your trust if that's something that you need them to do like this is someone who will always have time for you and always have energy for you you know so we have here drunk with love so yeah this is the kind of love that will make you feel free but maybe kind of intoxicated and I feel like it's because you guys are just really good friends, so it just feels like good vibes. But at the same time, this is someone, you know, who's my lover and my best friend. Um, so that's nice. So we also have gift of freedom, break away from your attachments. Yeah, this is someone who won't make you feel restricted. Like, this is someone who would give you as much freedom as you need, you know, whether that be you're in the same room, but you need your space. Okay, I'll give you that. Whether that be um you know freedom to do you and to be who you are all right you know i i have no problem with that like this person is very accepting of you and they don't want you to feel bogged down they don't want you to feel stifled at all um for some of you this could be someone who maybe helps you break away from certain attachments that help you be more free and finally we have accepting challenges trust your inner resources yeah, so this is going to be the kind of connection where they will make you feel like you can overcome and you can handle absolutely anything, you know, clarified by the Ace of Wands and the Judgment card at the bottom. Like this person will make you feel like you can overcome anything and maybe you'll do the same for them. But you guys will definitely be each other's biggest supporters and be very accepting of each other's challenges and help each other overcome those challenges, okay? But that is all I have and I'm going to go because my battery 